Hey guys, if you look at Google, it operates at a global scale with millions of users accessing services like Google Search, Gmail, YouTube and more. The real challenge for Google is not just building the new features. It's also ensuring these services are available 24 by 7 across the globe, scalable to handle any level of demand and reliable so they work seamlessly without failures. Even with such massive traffic, Google rarely slows down or experiences downtime. How is this possible? Because of the three key roles, DevOps, SRE and Platform Engineering. In this chapter, let's dive deep into these three essential roles in modern software development. So without any further delay, let's get started. Let's start with DevOps. In the introduction to DevOps chapter of this series, we already discussed DevOps in detail. In short, DevOps is a culture or mindset that brings software development and IT operations together. The main focus of the DevOps engineer is to reduce the friction between the development and operations by collaborating and also automating the repetitive task and increase the speed and efficiency of the software delivery with CI-CD. To understand this with an example, let's say Google is constantly evolving with new features like search suggestions, personalized results and enhanced accuracy. The DevOps team ensures these features are developed and deployed smoothly. When developer creates a new feature, DevOps focuses on automating the testing, integration and deployment of this new feature into the production environment without causing downtime. In summary, DevOps ensures that every code change is deployed safely and reaches users without interruption, making the delivery process faster and more efficient. It's all about speed. Next we have SRE. SRE stands for Site Reliability Engineering. As the name suggests, this role focuses on making sure applications are reliable, scalable and highly available. To understand SRE better, first let us look at few terms like SLI, SLO, Error Budget and SLA. Let's consider one of the Google services, Google Cloud Platform, popularly known as GCP. Like every other service, this service also has metrics like uptime and latency to measure its quality. These metrics are called SLIs or service level indicators. Uptime measures the percentage of the time a service is available. The more nines, the higher the availability of the service. And the latency measures the time it takes to process requests. The lower latency, the better it is. Like this, we will have different SLIs for a service to measure its quality by their values. Now, let's say when we buy GCP from Google, it promises 99.99% uptime over 30 days. This target or goal for a specific SLI over a set of period is called SLO or service level objective. That means GCP should be available 99.99% in a month. In other words, only 4.32 minutes per month downtime is allowed. Same with latency. 95% of requests should be served within 200 milliseconds. Now, when the uptime SLO is 99.99% per month, the service is allowed a maximum of 4.32 minutes per month downtime. This is called error budget. It represents the allowed amount of failure, calculated as 100% minus SLO. These error budgets help teams decide how frequently to roll out new features. And finally, SLA or service level agreement is a contractual agreement between a service provider like GCP and the customer like us. It defines the minimum performance levels in the form of SLOs and the consequences if these standards are not met. Generally, SLA specifies the compensation if the provider fails to meet the promised level. For example, let's say GCP commits to 99.9% uptime. If uptime falls below 99.9%, the customer receives a 10% credit on their monthly bill. Now, the main focus of a SRE to ensure SLOs are met and also balancing the reliability with the speed of development looking at those error budgets. Also to ensure systems recover quickly from failures by incident management. And the most important thing is the proactive monitoring using tools like Prometheus and Grafana to ensure uptime and system reliability. Please note that there is a slogan, slow is the new down, meaning if our service is slow, people consider our service is down in this fast paced world. 
So the performance of our service is such a crucial thing and SRS make sure our service is performing well. If DevOps is all about speed, SRE is all about reliability. Next let us talk about platform engineering. If DevOps and SRE focuses on speed and reliability, platform engineering focuses on making life easier for developers. Platform engineering focuses on making developers life easy. Platform engineers build internal tools and platforms that allow developers to deploy code without worrying about the underlying infrastructure. For example, before Kubernetes became widely adopted, Google developed an internal platform called Borg to manage containerized workloads. Borg was designed by platform engineers to handle scheduling, deployment and scaling across thousands of missions. So, a platform engineer mainly focuses on creating a common platform for all the development team to reduce duplicate efforts. Also, he focuses on development experience to empower development teams to deliver the software faster. He also builds self-service platforms so developers can work without worrying about infrastructure. To explain how these three roles differ, let's use a car factory analogy. Have you ever seen a car assembly line where cars are manufactured? It ensures cars are built quickly and efficiently with a lot of automation. This assembly line can be compared to DevOps. DevOps is all about speed, that is, getting new features out to users fast with automations like CI/CD. Once the car is ready, the quality control team checks each car to ensure it is reliable. This quality control team is like SRE. They focus on availability and stability making sure the service doesn't crash even under heavy load. And to make sure the car production faster, there is another team that creates the tools and machines to simplify production. This is similar to platform engineering. They make things easier for developers by building self-service platforms allowing them to focus on coding rather than the infrastructure. In many companies, these teams work closely together throughout the development life cycle. Each role is unique, but they all work towards a common goal, that is, faster, more reliable, and easy to manage software. You might also heard about CloudOps, which is a variant of DevOps focused on specific cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, or GCP. Similarly, MLOps focuses on automating the life cycle of machine learning models, ensuring efficient deployment and maintenance of these models. To sum it up, while DevOps, SRE, platform engineering have different focuses, they all play crucial roles in modern software development. DevOps speeds up software delivery with automation and collaboration between development and operations. SRE ensures services are highly reliable while platform engineers build the underlying platforms that make developers work easy and more scalable. Which role do you think is the most important for your company? Have you ever worked in any of these roles? And what challenges did you face? Let me know in the comments section below. I would love to hear that. My name is Pawanil Tapu and I thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any updates.